Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Abby and in today's video I'm going to be doing a, a review on Thermapro which is a, um, a humidity um, and temperature reading thermostat. Um, and over on Instagram I asked you guys any products or any online retailers that you wanted me to review um, because I've done this quite consistently on my channel and Apparently they come in really handy um, and I still get kind of like comments from something I did years ago. So um, one of the products was a, a humidifier and or a humidity um, meter reading kind of device. So less the temperature, more the humidity side. Um, and I've done a video on the, um, the review on the humidifier I have um, and I'll link it if I can remember. Um, but I'm going to be doing the reading thing that we have, so the thermostat that we have. Um, and this thermostat is nothing special. Um, well, it is really special to me. I really like it. Um, but it's from Amazon. It's nothing expensive is what I mean. Um, obviously, this is backwards for you. Um, it might not be, actually. I don't know. Um, it's backwards to me. But this is from Amazon. This is nine ninety nine um, for a single one. Or for two, it's seventeen ninety nine. Um, and I don't remember how much we paid, but that is uh, the price of them today. So we're in June 2022. Um, and I think for two, for $17.99 is really good. Um, it's got a magnetic back here, so you can literally just like put it anywhere that's obviously um, magnetic. And we had this um, against the, we had it, um, we've got really high plug points. So we had it against the wall just so it was out the way because they're currently st stuck out because they've not been like chased into the wall. And then I started thinking, it's going to get the wrong reading because it's against an external wall which gets wet and then it makes it cold and it didn't change the the reading so it's really clever um so yeah i did worry if i was to put it on a fridge or anything then it would have a different off um reading but it doesn't so this um top part here this will show you the temperature and then the bottom part and there's a light here as well which is i find really helpful at night time this bottom part will tell you the humidity, but you can also see along here, you can see the lowest it's been within 24 hours and the highest it's been um, on both readings. So for example, this has said the highest it's like um, picked up on um, temperature wise is 32 and a half um, degrees Celsius and the lowest is 23 degrees. It's currently 26 degrees and the humidity, the highest it's been is 56 and the lowest it's been is 31 within the 24 hour period. I think that's really, really good because we want to personally keep an eye on the temperature um not the humidity as such for our bedroom at night time because if it gets too cold then um we need to put an extra layer on and we have um reasons to obviously need to know the actual temperature now um so we find this super useful for that so that's the reason we actually bought these um for human reasons not for plants um but we do keep one um in the plant room because i i just like to know and I actually keep it next to the pigs because it's if it gets too high, then I know I need to jump in and give them a reason to have like more air or like a fan or something. Um, but you've got along here, you've got dry, comfort and wet. So this is 55 degrees, 55% um, humidity, sorry. And it's saying it's comfort. I will try and insert a picture for proof if I can find it. But I've had 99% humidity before. Like when we bought this house, um, it was all sorts of messed up and I've seen it at like 98, 99% humidity, which is wet. <laughs> so it, de it definitely goes up to like 9900% and it can tolerate like minus as well. I've seen it like in temperature wise, I've seen like minus on here when it's been the winter time. Um, it is battery operated, um, which is really handy. We bought these, um, we must have bought these in November. It's now June, like I said, they come with batteries. I haven't had to change the battery, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, and you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. We use Celsius in England and you can do the time from 12 hours to 24 hours. Um, and I, I just think it's really, really handy and such a good thing for plant like collectors. I know a lot of people that have um, thermostats like this in their plant um, greenhouses or even just like their cabinets um for me just knowing what the room is is really handy because sometimes you just you just can't tell from yourself and 
sometimes you do get humidifiers that have these readings on them but they're not they're not so accurate um so i tend not to really go off what it says because i could stick my aleco homes humidifier on for half an hour and it would suddenly be like 76 percent humidity whereas this is like no it's not um but yeah i will en enter the link of this down in the description if you want to go check it out but i have nothing um bad to say about this it's like a really simple quick device um super easy you don't even need to think about it very user friendly and i think really reasonable um like price wise for what you get so yeah hopefully that helped the people that are looking for a, a thermostat for their plants because you can't really go wrong with this so i really hope you enjoyed that video um if you clicked on it you are probably looking for this kind of product um and especially coming into the summer months i think this is really helpful to know if your humidity is completely crashed or the temperature is too high because unfortunately for tropical plants you there is obviously like like temperatures and humidity like tolerances they can take anything lower or higher you might see your plant like really suffer so for me it's a no-brainer and i only have recently got one as i've said and i've been collecting plants for donkey's years so it really does help me out and i really hope it helps you out and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye